All of the motion questions we've been looking at so far have involved uniform motion. That is, motion where the velocity stays the same over the interval of time. The velocity might be 100 kilometers per hour or minus 10 meters per second, or even a velocity of zero. But the main criteria for uniform motion is that whatever the velocity is, it stays constant. Consider the following. What if we had three trucks which drove along dropping a pylon out of the back every second? We have an orange truck dropping off orange pylons, and a blue truck dropping the blue pylons, and of course a green truck dropping its green pylons. So what can we say about the motion of these trucks by looking at these pylons? Well, it looks like the orange truck doesn't get very far each second compared to the blue truck which seems to get a little bit further during each second and the green truck of course gets the furthest during each second the biggest spaces therefore we can conclude that the green truck must be going the fastest since we know that the change in displacement is the average velocity times the change in time and that the change in time for each of these is one second, it must mean that the average velocity is different for each truck. Certainly the orange truck would have the lowest average velocity and the green truck would have the greatest average velocity as its change in distance between the pylons is the greatest over each second. Now another thing we could observe about the motion of these trucks is that the pylons are all evenly spaced. That is, the change in distance for each second is the same. Therefore, the velocity isn't changing for any of the trucks. And that means these trucks are exhibiting uniform motion. If we were to graph their motion, it would look like this. Note that the slope of the D versus T graphs indicate their differences in velocity. With the green truck showing the greatest slope, that is, it travels the greatest distance over any one second or has the greatest average velocity. So let's run those trucks again, but this time things will look a little different. First of all, we can notice that the pylon spacing for both the orange and the green trucks are no longer uniform. Their velocity is changing. This is not uniform motion. We would say that the change in distance over each second is increasing for the orange truck, and therefore its velocity is increasing. It's accelerating. A positive acceleration means that the velocity is increasing. The blue truck is moving at the same rate. Its motion is uniform. The green truck is slowing down. The spacing is getting smaller, indicating that the velocity is decreasing. And we call this negative acceleration, or deceleration. Since we know that the change in displacement is the average velocity times the change in time, the increasing velocity of the orange truck results in increasing distance between the cones. In the same way, decreasing velocity for the green truck results in decreasing distance between the cones. If we were to graph these, it would look like this. Note that the blue truck is the only one with a straight line. That is, the velocity is not changing. The slope is always the same. Both other trucks are nonlinear. That is, they have changing slopes. The slope of the orange truck is getting steeper and steeper, a positive acceleration. The slope of the green truck is getting smaller and smaller. That's negative acceleration or deceleration. In this tutorial we took a brief look at the idea of uniform motion, preparing us for the idea of accelerated motion. In uniform motion the velocity stays exactly the same. It doesn't matter what the velocity is, 
as long as it stays constant. Uniform motion, therefore, on a D versus T graph is represented by a perfectly straight line. It may be horizontal, it may go up to the right, may go down to the right, but as long as it's straight, we know it's uniform motion. Non-uniform motion, on the other hand, means that the velocity is changing. There is acceleration involved. The distance the object covers in any given time increases or decreases as the velocity changes. Accelerated motion, therefore, on a D versus T graph is represented by a non-linear curve. The curve can get steeper if the object is accelerating positively, and the curve will get more gradual if the object is accelerating negatively.